Section 219, Authority to Enter Properties. Any person exercising police authority may, at any time, enter, pass through, and search any land, enclosure, warehouse, store, building, or structure not principally used as a dwelling house. When a security personnel or any other employee lives in the warehouse, store, or any building, structure, or enclosure that is used for storage of goods, it shall not be considered as a dwelling house for purposes of this Act. Section 220 Authority to Search a Dwelling House A dwelling house may be entered and searched only upon warrant issued by a judge of a competent court, the sworn application thereon showing probable cause and particularly describing the place to be searched and the goods to be seized. Section 221 Authority to search vessels or aircrafts and persons or goods conveyed therein. Any person exercising police authority under this Act may board, inspect, search, and examine a vessel or aircraft and any container, trunk, package, box, or envelope found on board and physically search and examine any person thereon. In case of any probable violation of this Act, the person exercising police authority may seize the goods, vessel, aircraft, or any part thereof. Such power to search includes removal of any false bottom, partition, bulkhead, or any other obstruction for the purpose of uncovering any concealed, dutiable, or forfeitable goods. The proceeding herein Authorized shall not give rise to any claim for damage caused to the goods, vessel, or aircraft unless there is gross negligence or abuse of authority in the exercise thereof. Section 222. Authority to search vehicles, other carriers, persons, and animals. Upon reasonable cause, any person exercising police authority may open and examine any box, trunk, envelope, or other container for purposes of determining the presence of dutiable or prohibited goods. This authority includes the search of receptacles used for the transport of human remains and dead animals. Such authority likewise includes the power to stop, search, and examine any vehicle or carrier person or animal suspected of holding or conveying dutiable or prohibited goods. Section 223 Authority to search persons arriving from foreign countries Upon reasonable cause, travelers arriving from foreign countries may be subjected to search and detention by the customs officers. The dignity of the persons under search and detention shall be respected at all times. Female inspectors may be employed for the examination and search of persons of their own sex. Section 224. Power to inspect and visit. The commissioner or any customs officer who is authorized in writing by the commissioner may demand evidence of payment of duties and taxes on imported goods openly for sale or kept in storage. In the event that the interested party fails to produce such evidence within 15 days, the goods may be seized and subjected to forfeiture proceedings, provided that during the proceedings the interested party shall be given the opportunity to prove or show the source of the goods and the payment of duties and taxes thereon. Provided further that when the warrant of seizure has been issued but subsequent documents presented evidencing proper payment are found to be authentic and in order, the district collector shall, within 15 days from the receipt of the motion to quash or recall the warrant, 
because the immediate release of the goods ceased, subject to clearance by the commissioner, provided finally that the release thereof shall not be contrary to law.